Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. If you watched the last video, I got up to the bevels and had to cut it because I think it was at 20 minutes already. I almost forgot to put the uh, sharpening notches in on these, but uh, I got them done. So uh, let's get these marked up and I'll meet you over at the grinder. I'll put my website up in the cards. It's the first down in the description. Amazon links are on there. Knives, shirts, all that good stuff's on there. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that stuff we tell you. All right, to the grinder. So I already knocked off the 90s, got it all marked out and all ready to go. If you don't know what I'm talking about here, I'll put the whole playlist of the full guide to knife making right up here. So you can, you know, it's every little detail about knife making. So I'm gonna leave a lot of that out. I got these other two, they're all ready to go, so it's just all going to be flat grinding. Let's get it going. This is a 50, then I go to 120, and then it's heat treat time. <laughs> I might go back and drill some more holes to take out some of the weight of this, though, but we'll see. And since it's pre-heat treat, I don't come back here. You know, my, my plungers will swoop after heat treat. But I'm staying in front of the plunge line, I mean, in front of the sharpening notch on all of them. That's, that's the main reason I put them in there. I didn't have a 50, which is what I usually use, so I grabbed my last 36, but man, there's something weird about this belt, because I kept trying to hit here and it wouldn't come up, but you can see it's on my back here, and it's missing right here, so I don't know if there's a dead spot on this belt or what, I've never had that happen. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of 80s, because I used to go like uh, 36, 80, 120, but then now I just do a 50 and a 120, so I'm about to order some more 50s, but I'm just gonna put an 80 on here and see what we look like. See, that must have been the belt, because that cleared right up. That came right straight. Now I just gotta put some more pressure here, all right. I don't like blaming tools and belts, but damn, making me look bad. <laughs> If you see the camera shaking, it's because I keep hitting my head on them. <laughs> All right, I was getting a little frustrated with it, but I went a little bit over there, but that's all right, that's no problem. Looks like I did the same thing right here. <laughs> but uh, this is preheat tree, we can mess up a little bit. I think I'm gonna stick with the 80 and not go to 120, because this heat treat and then after heat treat, we'll just go and go and go. All right, let me bust these two out and uh, it's actually Saturday, so I got 
I've been fasting for 15 hours, so I got yoga and workout. You guys don't need to know that, but you know, who cares? <laughs> All right, let's bust these out. Oh, I gotta mark them up. <laughs> I thought I was making that a little low. That's all right. We can bring this up. <laughs> so what happens when you don't eat for 20 hours? Your brain stops working. <laughs> Actually, they say it's supposed to enhance your brain work, but all right. Makes you ramble on and on. <laughs> Yeah, this 80 works, but man, it, it burns out real quick and now my fingers are on fire. Luckily, I got calluses. Let's use up another one. <laughs> Workout time because whoo good lord. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I mean I kind of got it worked out, but that wasn't what I planned on doing. <laughs> oh man, I'll hit the flats and stuff before I do it. But uh I got this one, but I'm gonna go work out and eat and stuff. So I'll be back in like three hours. About two seconds for you. <laughs> whoo! So I just did this part. This part for Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, I might be doing my other oven. I might, I'm either starting three new folders that I already heat treated the blades, or I'm gonna weld up my other oven and see if we can get that for the heat treat. But I gotta put clay on these two, which these are pretty much, you know, ready to go. So uh, let's get this one done and see where we're at. I couldn't figure out why my finger was burned right here. I think it's from using these 80s. And let the knife get too hot because I hold it, you know, when I'm holding it like that to grind in, I hold it right here. I think I must have burned my hand. But, uh, yeah, I ordered some more. Actually, I couldn't get 50s quick enough on Amazon. So I tried to get some, I, I got some 40s, some red, uh, red label braces. So we'll try those out, see how they go. I'm rambling again. Just go clay these up and uh, decide if we want to work on the oven or not. <laughs> I probably won't show that on YouTube. I'm not a good welder. <laughs> All right, I went and drilled more holes in this. So, uh, yeah, it's nice and light now. This is 52100, so it doesn't get any scale clay or anything. It just goes in and you wipe it off when it comes out. All right, these are W2. So, you know, I got to do hormones. Just a given. 
I've been using Satanite a lot lately, but uh, let's use refractory cement. Why not? Get my paintbrushes out. I kind of messed this one up, so uh, we'll erase some of it. <laughs> A little bit of water. I know why I messed up. I didn't make my Picasso joke. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let it dry over there. Tomorrow, I'll come in and just kind of. Dab it off. Since I got Parks 50 sitting on the deck already, uh, I got this all painted up. Everything's good to go. So uh, we're doing the W2 first, and uh, let's get it in. Let's drop down to 1420, so it'll take a while. I'm gonna turn my oil on right here. I got double burners. Get it up to 120. Alright, I'll be back when it's time to dip. Our temps are at like 110, so that's good enough. Turn these off. Bam, off. That's one good thing about W2 and 1095. They only soak for five or six minutes, so once the oven comes back up, you're good to go. I have step one on my PID set to five minutes, so I always kick it back down to step one. That way I know it's five minutes. Sometimes I forget and then I have to guess, but it's usually not too bad. Let's get it done. I remember to take my fire things off too, so. <laughs> I saw the clay fall off. Yeah. Take it down. See no anti scale. Let's wipe it on down. Or no scale, I mean. <laughs> a little bit where the clay was and stuff, but that's all right. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, let's get the second one in. Then we'll have to change out our oil and all that. Boom. Ooh-wee! All right. Where's our uh, oil here? See, this is at 153, so our uh, PID's at 1444, so we have to, you know, we got a little bit of time till it goes down. Kick this down to step one. So we know when it comes up. Now our five minutes. Yeah, I'll give this time to cool down some, and then, uh, Switch out the parts for uh, McMaster 11 seconds, do our 52 100, and the heat treating's done for the day. Man, I got three cameras set up, I don't know which one to look at. <laughs> our oil's back down to 134. If you can't get your oil to come down, find something to stir it up. It came down from like 150 to like 142 when I stirred it. So, you know, it's a little bit of a change, but it's just enough that it won't, you know, be too hot. So yeah, we're at 134 now. I gotta take it up to 1500 for the 52100, so that'll give it time for this to cool down and me to switch them out. I got my welder right down here, so I can just put the oil there and then put the other one up here. I'm just killing time because we're only at four minutes, so I got a minute to kill. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Woo, hot. 
We'll do a little fire this time. We only need the edge wedge, right? <laughs> Oh, I just saw the clay come off. <laughs> I used to think that was a bad thing. It's not too bad. Woo, look at all the smoke. Clouding up my cameras. <laughs> there we go. Now let me cool that down. My set this to 1500 and uh, yeah, we'll switch out the oil. Then I gotta heat the oil up on the other one. <laughs> All right, 52 100. I got my McMaster car set up, good to go. We're already at 1500 here, so uh, but once I open this up, plus this has got to soak for 10 minutes, so hold it in ball game. 52 100 and 80 CRV are kind of like the same thing, but uh, yeah, 52 100 has more chromium in it, and I forget 80 or 80 CRV is kind of close too, but. I prefer 5200. It's been 10 minutes, we're at 124 with the oil. I went upstairs for a while, just kicked this all on. We're at like nine minutes, so we're good to go. Yeah, man. 52100, we're just going straight on in. No any scale, no clay, no nothing. Kind of a boring quench if you ask me. <laughs> ah, here we go. Kick this off. Woo, all that scale just wipes right off. Oh. See all that stuff? Just like wipe it off. There's still a little bit, but not that much. All we got left is tempering and uh, yeah, back to making folders. <laughs> I'll meet you over at the bench. Whew. So that's about it. I got these folders I've been working on in between heat treating and all that. So uh, these I actually heat treated a while ago. I forget. They're actually thinner blades. They're .157 instead of my .187 on my usual blades. So see how the thinner ones go. I got them all done out. So I got to get back to this. Heat treating. Uh, everything's in the temper of it. All that. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave me comments, leave me your questions. You guys actually stepped up. There's like nine or ten questions and, and tips and all that. So I should be shooting that in the next day or two. Or Actually, this will probably come out after. So thanks for all that. And I shot it a couple days ago. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Uh, you probably know before I do. Anyway, I put my website up in the cards. It's the first down in the description. I actually got a new shirt. You know, it's got my folders on it, and uh, that's up on my website, just get to the shirt part. And, uh, yeah, time to get on the bevels and all that after tempering. Hope y'all having a great day. Oh, let's see, I'll put the playlist for the uh, original recurve right here, and my website's right there. Hope y'all having a great day, and as always, take it easy.